I'm now going to do some more tests on the 1968 Sylvania Color TV. I haven't worked on this for a while, but now that I've got some new test instruments, I'm going to try some, some more diagnostics on it. We're first going to test the picture tube. And this is an RCA CR3 picture tube tester, WT333B. I'm going to now follow the procedure for testing picture tubes. First of all, it says to set all knobs and controls fully counterclockwise and all push buttons up. So I've got all the push buttons up, all the knobs are counterclockwise. This is an RCA highlight picture tube and the type number is 23V ALP22. So the first thing I'm going to do is to check filament voltage and let's see here it should be 6.3 23V ALP22 6.3 volts so I've got the filament voltage range set to 6.3 now I'll plug the tester in here in here. Okay. Tester power is on. So now we'll uh, need to set the heater switch and press the heater voltage meet, uh, reading to get a reading here. So I need to adjust the heater voltage control to get 6.3 volts okay so heater voltage is now 6.3 so the next test step is to push the heater to cathode leakage button And if the meter pointers move down scale, there's leakage. So don't see any leakage here. Next, we'll push the G1 push button. And we don't see any leakage or shorts there. And now we'll do the cutoff procedure. And we'll push the cutoff push button. And what you have to do is just adjust each of these three controls for red, green, and blue so that the meter pointer moves up slowly to or up two small divisions. There's red. And let's see, here's blue. And here is green. Now it says if cutoff adjustment cannot be made, tube is defective. So we'll now press the quality button and get a picture tube quality indication. And it looks really good. So, picture tube should be good here. I imagined it would because it's a it's a new RCA replacement from 1975. The problem with this was just no picture, and I'm going to now try an HV test to see if I can measure high voltage on this. See if we're getting any high voltage to the CRT now that I've got the uh, high voltage meter. Now we're ready to do the high voltage test. We're first going to check for HV at the uh, horizontal output plate lead. And the test lamp is glowing, so we've got it there. Now let's check for DC at the picture tube. And there is none. 
So we need to see what's going on in the high voltage circuit. We need to see if we're getting HV at the, uh, the plate lead of the HV rectifier tube. Now, I'm going to hold this near the rectifier plate lead, and we are getting HV there. So maybe that the problem is in the regulator circuit.